Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today we're going to make some super cute little beaded pineapple earrings. Now, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe for all kinds of DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. So what you're going to need for this project are flat pliers, cutters, round pliers. I have an 18 inch piece of wire that's 24 gauge and a green piece of wire that's 20 gauge and I'm using seed beads. So we're going to start by putting three seed beads. This is the bottom row on the pineapple. And then we want for the next row, we're going to put on four beads. So I'm going to hold the wire with the four beads from the second row. And I'm going to put the other end of the wire back through the beads. This is sort of like bead weaving. And then once you have that done, you want to pull each side and keep it so it's centered on the wire because you don't want to run out of wire on one side. So we're going to pull it tight and then you can kind of squish it down so it's a little flatter and then bring these ends up and put on your four beads on the next row. Now depending on what kind of shape you want your pineapple to be in, you can adjust the number of beads that you put on each row. This was just sort of what I came up with in my sample. So, so we have our next row, four beads, same thing. Take the other end and put it back through those four beads and then pull it tight. So the wire is gone both through both sides. Okay, and then lift these ones up and put your last row of three. I don't want this to be too, too big. So I'm just doing four rows of beads. But like I said, if you want to do other combinations of beads, that's totally fine. So we have our last row of three and we'll put the other wire back through there and pull it. Now I've cut this wire way too long. I cut it 18 inches, but really you probably only need about 10 or less because it's pretty small. So here we have uh, the basic shape for the pineapple here. And then what you want to do is you need to do the green around the outside. So what we're going to do for that is take our green wire and you can go ahead and you could either wrap it around a marker to get sort of a roundish shape, but I'm going to try just to wind it around the bead slightly. So if we just kind of wind it, hold it around, wind it around, just so it's going to fit exactly in there. And it gives it a more kind of abstract shape. You don't want it like too perfectly round type of thing. So we're just going to go hold it. It's a little tricky. And then go around like that. Okay. And like that. And then what you want to do is you want one end to go straight up. So we're just going to form it around. Make sure it's about like the right size. Yeah, that's good. And then take your pliers and bend one end up like that. Okay. And then let's double check that it's going to fit in there. You can pull it in a little bit more. This is where you can adjust it a bit if you want. I think I'm going to bring that to the back. Okay. And then you want to take that out and just finish off one end like that. Okay. So we have one end that's shorter than the other. We'll just clip it off like that. Okay. And then what you can do is actually form your leaves at the top. This one, I didn't super measure it, but you can like do a measurement on your pliers if you want to get them both the same size. And basically what I'm going to do is just kind of bend it back and forth. So we're going to go like that and then bend it up. And what I did for the sample was I just did five uh, leaves. So we're going to go up and down. And then for the one in the middle, I actually just did like a more of a loop thing because we're going to put the earring hook in there and we're going to go around kind of back and forth 
This you could do really kind of squiggly if you want. It's not really a big deal. And we're going to go down like that. Okay. And so there we have our leaves. And then you need to finish it off. So just take this and wind it around a couple of times at the base there. And then, so there we have our basic shape for the pineapple. And what you want to do now is attach these little yellow beads. They're super cute. I really like these amber color ones. So we're going to take this and basically kind of stitch it in. So we're going to go around the outside and just where the wire hooks between each row we're just going to catch it with this wire yeah it's basically like sewing it inside and you can even do a couple of stitches down here to make it a little more decorative and just keep going until we get back up to the top so you see this this side here it's actually um, we have a little extra end there so what you can do is just stitch that around to one time and clip it and then just keep going until you've gone just so it looks even keep going all the way around the outside and then clip the end and if you have any sharp ends just push them in like that and we're just going to kind of adjust it so these beads are centered. I could have tightened up this a little bit more, but it looks fine like that. So to finish it off, you can go ahead and just kind of curve the leaves a little bit if you like. And like I said, you want this one in the middle to be a little more round and you can stick an earring hook in there. So we have our little pineapple. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you're not already a member of my Facebook group, be sure to join the live wires in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. We share photos of our wire creations and inspire each other every day. And if you don't have Facebook, no worries, you could send me photos to info at heatherboydwire.com and I'll share them in the community section of my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to check out our wire art and jewelry in our Etsy shop, we specialize in wedding cake toppers. I'll link up my shop below. Or if you'd just like to support me on Patreon, I'll link up my Patreon page below as well. So thanks for watching and we'll see you the next time.